Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is a uh, Therapeutic Thursday, and today I'm going to be featuring the brand Pharmacy. So I have um, washed my face and I put toner on, and so I'd like to use one of these masks. Today I received these, uh, I believe in an Ipsy subscription, but I have one that's brightening and one that's hydrating. And my skin doesn't really feel that dry today, so I think I'm going to go in with the brightening one. And this is a coconut gel sheet mask with collagen. Ooh, that looks really good. So I'm just going to open this up and get this on my face, and then I'm going to talk to you about a couple more products from Pharmacy. And, uh, wow. This is juicy. That's one thing about masks that I love. They're so juicy. And there's always plenty of serum left over that you can apply to your skin later. Ooh, this one's blue, y'all. Look at it. Okay, I hope it fits good. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It smells good. But the material is thick. So, let's see. It's not wanting to lay down. I feel like I needs some slits cut in it or something. All right, I'm just gonna try to keep this on best I can. This material is so thick and it needs some it needs some slits cut. I'll just fold that over and see if that'll work. Oh, I look ridiculous, don't I? Look like a smurf. <laughs> okay, let me just rub this in on my hands. I'm gonna try to keep my hands off of it. I've got my jade roller here, and so I'll just try to press that on my skin and keep the mask on for a few minutes anyway. How long am I supposed to wear this? Does it say? It's a unique patent protected variant of ec ec Echinacea huh? Herperia Green Envy contains a high concentration of the phytochemical Chicoric acid, a potent natural antioxidant that helps promote an evenly toned complexion. It says leave it on for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so this is uh, all these, uh, it's made with really good ingredients and it's got um, niacinamide in it and it's paraben free. Uh, synthetic fragrance free phthalate free mineral oil free cruelty free and formaldehyde donor free never heard of that one before but anyway I guess that's important to some people made in Korea this is a Korean skincare and there's all kinds of ingredients in this thing and it anyway I got this um, you can get this at pharmacy beauty.com I believe is the name of the website and I'll link that down below so that you can uh, get to it yeah pharmacybeauty.com anyway they have lots of great skincare and I've had the privilege of being able to try some of their products and so I just wanted to ooh, I'm gonna have to use this jade roller y'all I wanted to talk to y'all about a couple of things that I have I was thinking I had um, four different products, but I guess I only have three. I've got these two masks, got the this brightening one that I'm wearing, and then there's a, the hydrating one. And the hydrating one has hyaluronic acid in it. 
Okay. I'll have to work on this while I talk to y'all. All right, so anyway, let me just go ahead and talk about these other two products. I have this um, um, Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which is 50 mils. This is the smaller size pot. And if you look inside here, it's like a, gr a light green color. But this stuff is awesome for taking off that stubborn makeup that wants to stain your skin. Uh, waterproof mascara um, if you've got brow products that are kind of you know set in place some people like to use two or three layers of brow products and um, liquid lipsticks you know the long-lasting kind that dry down matte you know and they sometimes won't you know there's traces of lip liner or whatever that's left on your lips this this balm this cleansing balm right here gets all of that stuff up and any anything that has a tendency to leave a stain or residue on your skin or on your eyelashes or brow hairs it gets all that up so pressed pigments are really popular right now and so you know but some of them you know really stain your eyelids and so anyway but that this balm is awesome and they have another one too it's um, called the cherry very cherry and it smells like cherries and this one right here let me smell this smells like I don't know how to describe it it's fresh it's real fresh anyway that's the only way I know how to describe it this mask y'all this is some thick fabric right here this is my first impression on the mask. But I love sheet masks. And since I had these uh, and I wanted to do, you know, a review today on some of these products, I thought that I would try them. I need to fold that down. So I'm just using this jade roller to try and press in the serum. Okay, let me go on to this other product here. Um, this is a gel cleanser, the Clean B gel cleanser. So, what I like to do is whenever I go in with this uh, cleansing balm on stubborn makeup days, you know, I, get, I use that to remove all of that uh, stubborn makeup and anything that might, you know, stain my skin or whatever. And then I'll double cleanse with. Um, this gel and so this has got um, it's real gentle and it smells like honey and it's just it's called the clean bee so anyway it only takes like a dime sized, sized amount and it's 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 really really nice it's got um, uh, well, let me just read here delivered fresh and ultra gentle facial cleansing gel that washes away surface oil, impurities, pollution residue, and makeup while nourishing the skin with honey and hyaluronic acid. So this doesn't over dry your skin at all, and um, but it really gets it really good and clean. So I really like using this. This is one of my favorite gel cleansers that I've ever tried. I mean, I really, really like it. So if you've got sensitive skin and or if you have combination skin like I do and you get like an oily nose but yet you have dry places on your on the sides of your cheeks and you know there's places on your face where, that you feel dry you know this is great for combination skin because it picks up the oil and it and the hyaluronic acid leaves um, you know moisture behind so I just want to go around the eyes and just bring some therapy to my to my face, my lymph glands and what have you. I slept really good last night. I mean, I slept all the way through the night. Usually I get up at least once in the middle of the night, sometimes twice 
to use the bathroom, but I didn't, I didn't at all last night. So, but I've been taking Benadryl here lately because I've, one of my dogs got into some poison ivy and it transferred to my, my skin. So I've got a spot on my arm that I've been doctoring and um, it itches like crazy. So, I don't know how y'all are, but what we do here in the South is we'll make up a, like a sanitized solution in the sink, you know, with um, a sink full of water and I'll add like a quarter cup of bleach to it and then I'll just take a washcloth and I'll just wash the affected area with a bleach uh, solution and try to kill all those spores. And, uh, and then once I've got it really good and clean and sanitized, then I'll put calamine lotion on it and, uh, you know, help to help it dry up. And then I'm taking Benadryl to keep me from scratching it because it's just, it feels like fire, you know, and I just want to dig at it. It's really not good because that's what causes it to spread. It's what causes it to ooze. So the blisters that pop up if they are oozing you know that's what spreads what spreads it and if you scratch it then you get all that underneath your fingernails and the next thing you touch on your body is going to be affected and so it's just you have to really really try hard not to scratch it at all and to keep stuff on it and that benadryl is an antihistamine and so it works wonderful you think about benadryl for sneezing and itchy watery eyes but it also helps with um the histamine of um poison poison ivy but anyway i'll show you my arm see those two spots see when i fold my arm this way this part touches this part and so th that's how it happened i got it on one part of my arm and then it spread to the other part anyway i've been doctoring myself for about four or five days now and it's starting to dry up really good, but I'm still having to take Benadryl. So anyway, long story short, I've been going through it. <laughs> and just trying to take good care of myself and not scratch and, you know, trying to keep my dogs out of the poison ivy outside. Y'all, I'm ready to take this off because it's so, it's uncomfortable because it's so thick and because it's not laying right on my skin it feels like the texture of um, it's not stretchy at all but it, it's got like a texture to it it feels almost like a handy wipe but anyway I'm just gonna take what's left over and just rub it on my arms and uh, get some moisture on my skin and I'm gonna stay away from my spot my poison ivy spot I had, I got into some poison oak about 10 years ago. It was all over my body. I mean, all over my body. It was horrible. And I suffered for like two months. And they, people that, we were living in Lexington, Kentucky. And people that lived there in that area, they kept telling me, you got to wash it off with bleach. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my skin's already inflamed and you want me to put bleach on top of those sores and I was just shaking my head in disbelief I just couldn't believe they were telling me that but let me tell you I tried everything short of going to the doctor to get shots and nothing worked I spent so much money on over-the-counter medications and so anyhow through trial and error you know and pure desperation you know I decided okay I'm gonna make a bleach solution you know, it doesn't have to be straight bleach, but it can be, you know, w water with a little bit of bleach in it. And it really helped. I mean, it was so bad, y'all, that I was getting up in the middle of the night. My body was on fire. And I would take a cool shower just to try and find some relief. And I was using all kinds of sprays. And let me throw that away. And, I mean, I didn't even know about Benadryl at this point. I'm, but And, and I was digging. I was just digging and it was on my feet and my calves and my thighs and I had places all over me. I mean, I was, I was miserable and I was still trying to work every day and 
you know, fortunately people didn't see all my sores underneath my work uniform, but still it was just like, you know, you just want to go find you a place uh, that's private and go scratch yourself. <laughs> it's horrible. And so anyway, I, I don't wish it, that kind of ill will on anybody. That is just, it's tormenting. So, but anyway, so, but I learned a lot through that experience. And so now I know whenever the least little spot gets on me and it starts to really scratch like that, it feels like a mosquito bite or something uh, like that at first. But then when you start to scratch it, um, you'll notice, you know, that the, the, what was one tiny little spot will become like three or four or five spots. And when it starts to spread like that and it's, and it's starting to feel like, you know, that digging, itching, that you can't get any relief kind of itch, um, then you know. You know you've done got into poison ivy or poison oak or sumac or something. And so anyway, I never had that problem growing up when I was a kid. Um, and we played outside all the time. We were in the woods all the time. And so anyway, I'm just going to keep going over this. So anyway, part of my therapeutic Thursday today, besides these pharmacy products, is just sharing with you my experience with poison ivy and what to do if you ever get it on you because you're going to need some relief. So take my advice buy yourself some bleach and get you some Benadryl and some calamine lotion and those three things right there will keep you out of the doctor's office unless you get it in your eyes or around you know around your eyes if you get it on on your face like that around your eyes you need to go to the doctor and then give you a shot and then it'll help you help you help it dry up oh yeah this feels good yes all right well i'm gonna leave um all the information down below for you guys on the pharmacy uh clean bee and the green clean and these two masks and i'll just i'll link the website down below that way you can get to it this is my uh cosmetics uh clean um jade roller which this is no longer um being sold from that brand but you can find jade rollers on amazon all you have to do is just google it and or just go to amazon.com and put a search in and you can get yourself a jade roller or a um, rose quartz roller either one but anyway this has got like a tackiness to it i can feel it on my skin there's a tackiness i could probably let this dry for about 10 minutes and then probably go straight in with foundation but I mean, as it starts to dry on my skin, I can feel the tackiness of it. Anyway, good products, good brand. I enjoy this uh, therapy that I give myself. I try to do this at least once a week, have a, have a day where I just focus on um, nothing but just some extra skincare. And so anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And God bless you today is my prayer. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.